on this episode of Face Palm Fishing. Grab a basket. Get the broccoli for the clickbait thumbnail. Scan your items. For bulky items, please use hand. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god. Need this. There you go, baby. Oh. 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 Hi guys and welcome back to yet again another episode of Facepalm Fishing. So today on Facepalm Fishing we'll be testing out an, another theory. So remember what our parents always tell us that you know fruits and vegetables are healthy and we should eat more of them? Well we are gonna test if the fishers here at Auto also have the same mentality. So fruits and vegetables are not only healthy, you know they contain a lot of vitamins and stuff. They're also significantly cheaper than let's say the live bait and other bait that we use. So if the fish really respond well to these baits that we're using today, we might actually revolutionize fishing. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, we're we using a banana. Got it! Got it guys! Got it! <laughs> oh, oh my god, my. the water! God, yes. Oh my god! The banana! The banana came out, but it's okay. Tired, actually. Open the view and I don't know. Open the view, open the view, open the view. Open the view. Open the view. Open the view. There we go, guys. The first one of the day. Fishing with, with a banana. Oh my god. Alright, guys, hook, hook this out. And here it goes. Thought they had a healthy breakfast, but they had a healthy morning jog instead. Okay, so now we are just going to try the other fruits with, we know the banana works, so right now what you want to try? Mango? Mango, mango uh, sure. Mango. And we didn't bring, uh, we didn't bring any knife or anything, so we have to like cut the mango in a very unsightly way. Can you throw this away later? Okay. Why me throw away now? Okay, I'm not too sure how to cook it, but... Because I've never seen any videos of anyone fishing with mango. But the boss also recommended this to me because he said he tried it before. And bam, a mango piece right on. So I'm just gonna cast it out and wait for the fish. Real tight, wait, 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 real tight. Real tight. Set, set, set. Yes, on. It's off, it's off. It's on, it's on, it's on. Quick, 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 Marcus. You have to pull, you have to pull. It's a big fish, it's a big fish, guys. Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Up, slowly up. Okay. Yeah. Alright guys, first glimpse, first glimpse. 
Oh, it's quite a big size one. Oh my god, Marcus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't hide it, don't hide it, don't hide it. Alright guys, so for info, the Chapaya catfish is a dog eating catfish. That's what they call it in Thailand. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's found in the Chapaya River, that's why it's called Chapaya catfish. And they're known in Thailand for eating dogs. That's how tenacious they are. And they're superb fighters. As you can see, this one has been going on for about 10 minutes. Um, in this spawn right here, the two uh, most hardest fighting fish is probably the Chapaya catfish and the Wait catfish. And this is the you know, we just got our second target on the mango secret bait. This thing is really good. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this fish! Okay, okay, go, go, go! Okay. <laughs> Just let me, it's still good to me right now. <laughs> well, yes, Ishan, how do you feel now? She disgusted. <laughs> On to the next bait! Okay guys, this is a favourite of a lot of chefs around the world, I would say. Garlic. Yeah, yeah this is garlic. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is, we're just going to hook a few. Uh, the, cons the theory here is that the garlic will emit a lot of smell. So we could catch something like the red tail catfish. So we're going to cast it near a structure and hope for the best. Use about half a garlic here. Uh, you crush it on your skin. Oh, we shouldn't have bought this one, man. This is the quality not very good. Remember the well, the smell is crazy man. And as the hook pierces through the garlic, it creates more smell, you see. Okay. Oh my gosh, set! Oh my face! Oh. Yeah, I did wet it over the water. Yup, yup, there's a fish I think. Huh? Oh my god! Oh, it's a different fish, it's a different fish. The garlic, the garlic work! Oh my god. Garlic work, guys, garlic work! And trust me, it's not like the pond. Okay, for those of for the viewers who are not in, who don't fish in Singapore, I think the pond, the bite rate at the pond is decent. But as you can see, everyone is in the pond now, and not much people are catching fish. Okay, so it really shows that it works, and it doesn't just work; it kind of works well. And we got another red tail catfish right here. Yeah. So we, oh, oh, you eh? dropped. You dropped. It's okay. You cannot let the line loose. No, I I, I pull, then the line loose. Yeah, you cannot let the you cannot wow. let it happen. Yeah, yeah, but okay, bet, at least bet. we know that it works lah. So we use another bait now. Alright, next up on our bait bonzana, we're gonna try this, the pumpkin. Oh shit, I got some of my nose. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Pumpkin hooked. Let's see whether we can catch some fish. Okay, young man, what what are your thoughts on the pumpkin? I think it will work because from all the fruits that we're using, it shares similar characteristics. So, like, like it's a bit soft, and then it has a lot of juice. I think it will work. I think it might work. It might. I'm not gonna say it definitely will work because it doesn't have a lot of smell like the mango. The mango is very very sweet. The, the scent just leaks out immediately, but the pumpkin is a bit, it's a bit but mild the scent. Uh, 
Alright guys, so we checked the pumpkin for about half an hour now. You know, we got a few takes just now, but nothing really committed to biting it. I, I think it's because it doesn't really have a lot of smell. So Marcus is just gonna bring home and let his wife all cook it. Uh, we even put the pumpkin right in front of the red tail catfish's face and they, they don't want it. So we, we have no choice, you know, we have no choice. Right now, I, I think everyone's waiting for this <laughs> broccoli, alright? Vegetables, eh? I don't know how it's gonna work. And just like that. There we go, the broccoli is out, it's floating over there. It will be quite a miracle if actually we catch a fish on the broccoli. I have no idea, but we don't know. We might walk, we might we'll check on it in like a day. Alright guys, we had a good morning of fishing and now the sun is up. We are lazy as heck. But yeah, we had a good morning. We landed a good sized chopaya and a red tail. And yeah, fruits really work. Huh? No red tail. Hey, 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 all along here. All along here, all along here. Coming up. Yeah, so fruits really work. The mango is exceptional. The garlic worked as well, but we didn't land the fish on the garlic. Honorable yeah, mention to the banana too. The banana, the banana works lah. Banana, banana works. And uh, actually, the I think the pumpkin works, pumpkin. but it's just not very effective lah. But it works because there's a few bites. Yeah. Broccoli and apple, no no, they float, and they probably don't smell like anything, and they probably just look like some debris. Yes. Smooth floating on the thing. Yeah. So we're gonna pack up now, clean up the share a little bit because it's free with juices and make a move. So see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, follow our Instagram page and follow our Facebook page. Okay, then bye.